Hi, uh, I thought today I would talk a little bit about some strength building things that we can do as cyclists. We get a lot of glute and leg activation when we're cycling and some core also because you're bent over and you have to keep your core tight, but you don't get a lot of arms. So I thought we'd do a little bit of core and arms together today and um, just to work on a little bit more of the strength building in your arms and also um, just some proper form. So um, come to a seat and then we're just gonna warm up our lower back because that's another area that I know as a cyclist, like this area down here gets super tight because you're, the reason why is your hamstrings are constantly pulling on those muscles that are attached to your lower back. So you get um, a lot of a lot of times um, pain going on in those areas. So it's good to, even before you ride, to stretch out that area of your back. And I know even when I wake up in the morning, this is something that on me that's completely tight. So you can either sit like I'm sitting or you can sit on your butt and just like do a little, this is a seated cat cow. Just put your hands on your knees and go forward and back. And just stretch out, and also good to stretch out your upper neck. I know when I'm riding for a long period of time, my shoulders get very tight in this area and um, it just like tense up when I'm riding. So it's good to always like work on your neck a little bit too. So, yeah. do a little cat cow. Sorry, my phone dream. Um, so then go in circles too. Go to the left, and then let's go to the right. Okay, then we're gonna move our neck around in circles. Go down, go slow. You don't need to go fast during this because you want to feel the stretch as you're going, but not too tight, so don't pull on it too tight. So just come, just do a little bit of neck. Roll your shoulders out. Go forward with your arms and come back. And flex your muscles and bring your arms back. And let's grasp our hands together with our fingers and pull. Stretch out your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to breathe. Already popping. Okay, so uh, simplest one is kind of a chaturanga slash push up. So I'm going to show you the proper form. Hands spread wide, uh, fingers all out, um, shoulder width, and then you're going to make sure you have a little bit of cupping in your hand. So place your hand shoulder width apart on the mat. Step back. Make sure your shoulders are completely above your wrists, even a little bit further ahead. And then we're gonna come down slowly to count of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna stop right here. You're not gonna go all the way around. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. One, two, three, four, Five. Pull up into downward dog. And as you pull up into downward dog, pull in your core muscles tight. Grab your like grab them together. Just think you're like sucking in your stomach. And rest here for one, two, three, four, five. You can bend your knees. And come forward. We're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Come back into downward dog. Rest for a second. Right. Come forward again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. 
I can rest for a second. This should be easy. You're resting in between, so you should have no problem doing these, right? Right? <laughs> so we're gonna do five of them. So we're gonna keep going. Ready? Come forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to your dog. If you can just do one of these, it's fine. We're doing five today, though. Ready, come forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. When you come up, every time you flip from your low chaturanga to high chaturanga, don't sag. So make sure this isn't happening. You know, you get tired, this happens. That's not good for your lower back. And it's not helping your core at all. So if that starts to happen, it's okay to come to your knees and just like be down on your knees. It's totally fine. Just make sure you have, you pretend like you're a piece of wood, a plank. So you're coming down, holding it and coming back up. Then rest. So that's another way to do that, that particular movement. So another thing, side plank. Side plank is another good um, way to work on some arm strength and core strength. So you're pulling up here, you're trying to get this bottom foot as flat as you possibly can. So think about not using this foot, you can here, but push, push up on that, see that back foot? I'm pushing up. I'm getting my bottom foot, the one in front, is flat to the ground. There's an arch shape here. I'm reaching up. You can do this. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Hand down, come to the other side. Try to get those hips up. Actually, it's easier when you get your hips up and you're feeling the engagement through here. We have an arch going on. You lift this foot if you feel like it. Come back to the other side. Come back to the other side. So there's some other things you can do. You come down, you do your push-up. Go to the other side. Come back, do your push-up. Go to the other side. Come back to plank. Knee to elbow. Back, other side. This takes a lot of balance too. Think about on your bike when you're balancing. I forgot to do the knee, okay. Side, knee, back, roll to the side. Down, knee, back, roll to the side. Down, we're gonna go knee push up. Back, to the other side. Down, knee push up. Back, the other side. Here, side plank, knee up, chair elbow, elbow to knee. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come to the other side, do the same thing, or bring this knee down. This still works. One, two, three, four, five. So either way, you're getting activation in your arms, you're getting activation in your core, which is really important. Activation, some in your legs. You ride your bike all day long. You don't need a lot in your legs. Your legs are good. The legs need stretching. So um, let's go into Happy Baby. For some reason, guys hate the name of this. You can call it Dead Bug. Um, we call it Happy Baby because that's what your baby is. 
So come up with your feet and just relax here. Bring your left leg out, pull your knee in. And then we're gonna just spin over to the side because you need a lot of back, back stretching and twisting too. Come back to center, switch legs. And then go over to the other side. If you have someone, um, if you have someone that can help you with this, that side stretch is a really good one for cyclists to have um, assistance with because if they press gently on your shoulder and gently on your hip bone, it really opens up your back area. Twisting is, if you're a strong person, is something that um, is always needed. Like we always need twists. And then we're gonna sit, take your right leg underneath here and your left leg over the top of it and then right arm up turn. We're going to twist this way. This really opens up your glute. You can feel it right there. You should be able to feel it right there. And you go the other way. You're going to switch legs. Bring the left one underneath. Right one over the top. Just come as far as you can. If you can't do this whole thing, you don't have to. Just do as much as feels comfortable to you. Um, pull your chest up, reach your arm up, twist. The point of this is to get your chest over as far as you possibly can and twist your lower back and your glute. Back the other way. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and fun. Thanks so much for joining me.